Hello everybody and welcome to another Marked Medi tutorial featured by Marked Arts, that's M-A-R-K-D underscore A-R-T-S. And in this episode, we are going to fix that pesky issue when you have a very complex shape that you want to apply a clipping mask um, to it, let's say an image, and it doesn't let you because there's too many points or the path is just not set up correctly. So the workaround is pretty simple. So if you had a very complex shape with a lot of points, let's say I made this very quickly using these stupid little uh, like wrinkle tools and stuff just to add points really quick. I wrinkled a bunch of uh, holes and I'm going to take all the images on top or the shapes on top and I'm going to Pathfinder minus run. So usually this is the process most people would take to get these complex shapes and you're left with you would think a compound path because this is what a compound path would look like. So let's take that exact shape that I just Pathfinder minus front and I'll let me try to clipping mask the image. So it doesn't let me, it just kind of goes blank. And by clipping mask, by hitting control seven, or you can hit object, clipping mask, and make, and it still doesn't work. So I'm gonna undo that. I just wanna also demonstrate, so if, like if I had this shape and I wanted to group it with a bunch of other shapes, and I wanted these three shapes to clipping mask the image together, and let's try it. it gives me the warning that I was talking about, and hit yes, and it doesn't work. So you are probably wondering, dang, I really wish I was able to put this beach image inside these shapes. And this is the way to do it. The only reason it's not working is because it's not necessarily reading it as a compound path. This, although makes compound paths kind of, it just like, it works differently for some reason. I don't know, It's I think it's kind of buggy. But what you need to do is you need to hit the shape that you made and you need to go to object, clip uh, compound path, and you need to make compound path. So if I were to take this vector alone and try and do clipping mask the beach now that I hit the compound path, it now works. So let me just demonstrate if I were to release this by hitting control alt seven and I send this to back again. Let me just quickly lock this, add some color back. And if I were to group these shapes together, and not add these shapes on the outside to the compound path, watch what happens. If I go to clipping mask, it will not work because I, I need to make it, this entire thing a compound path. I can't just group the shapes. Everything has to be a compound path if you're going to make a complex clipping mask. So now that I compound path it, I hit make. And now if I try the clipping mask, it should work. And there you have it. So if you ever have that annoying issue where you have a complex vector and you wanted to incorporate some like unique style clipping masks, this would be the workaround because I struggled with this at some point, but you know, we got through it and we figured out the reason. And I'm just gonna demonstrate one more time. I'm just gonna add all these to a compound path and I'm going to try it with all of them. And there you have it. So compound path is the way to fix that issue. And I thank you for watching this quick tutorial on how to solve the pesky clipping mask issue with complex vectors in Illustrator. My name is Mark Dometti. You can find my work on Instagram primarily at MarkedArts. That's M-A-R-K-D underscore A-R-T-S. Please subscribe and like if you like these videos and please check out my complex gradient mesh tutorials, which seems to be very popular among my channel. And I really appreciate the feedback that I get. And eventually I will make more of these type of videos, the gradient mesh as well as the tutorials, but you have to just bear with me. I'm a man of many, many things to do. And I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Thank you for watching.